A question of character. Daniel-san is a karate kid hoping to one day become a karate man. Daniel-san competes in a Los Angeles karate tournament using karate techniques taught by Sensei Mr. Miyagi, such as the flying fist, the standing fist, the kick, the sweeping kick. The match is too incredible. The referee cannot believe his eyes. This is not a traditional karate match. These furious combatants duel until they can fight no more. Daniel's son glares into his opponent's eyes, emotionless, still ready. Then he turns the wrong way. Out. Daniel's son practices the way of Mr. Miyagi to win by any means necessary. Sweep kick to the nuts. No hold is barred in this blood fest. Daniel's son reaches the final fight. Daniel's son must fight through his bruises. Daniel Sun reaches into his inner spirit. He remembers the crane kick. Daniel Sun has a supply of crane kicks. Daniel Sun crane kicks. A magnificent blow. It doesn't matter. One chance remaining. Daniel Sun is now full of energy and ready to destroy. The referee cannot believe his eyes. Kid on kid violence. Daniel Sun finishes with a neck breaking jumping kick, causing his final opponent to collapse mid air just as Mr. Miyagi would have wanted but there is no time for celebration Daniel's son must jump to Okinawa the Okinawans are ready for Daniel's son the Okinawans pummel Daniel's son game over no game continuing with one punch Daniel's son will defeat two foes enemies fall into the earth and perish Daniel's son has arrived Daniel Sun will strut. Daniel Sun dresses for combat. A black tank top showcasing his karate muscles. A battle band across his head. White pants, surely to become red with his foe's blood. And black slip ons for deadly crane kicks. Daniel Sun is of the crane. The karate kicking crane. But Daniel Sun cannot swim of the crane. Daniel Sun picks up crane kicks. But if he does not pick up the crane kicks, his crane kicks will disappear. Disappear, just as the cowardly crane, only useful for its kicks. Daniel's black tank top is imposing and magnificent, but it does little to protect him. His enemies hop to punch him. His enemies hop for anything. Luckily, upon the low strength, Daniel's son has friends to heal him, such as the beautiful Kumiko, standing upon a lush Okinawan palm tree or braving a deadly, but also lush Okinawan typhoon. Her love for Daniel's son knows no boundaries, and neither does Sato. He loves Daniel san too, but not the enemy. The enemy hates Daniel san The enemy would rather face death then save themselves during a deadly, but also lush Okinawan typhoon. We hate you, Daniel Sun! Daniel Sun sometimes will enter houses of bonus chance. He must break the ice to prove his strength or face the fly of humiliation. I am unimpressed. And there's also a swinging hammer. Who cares what it thinks? Hey, I Following the map that suggests Daniel Sun to go forward, he must continue forward until facing Chosen. Chosen also hates Daniel Sun, but Daniel Sun loves to punch him. Drum punch. Daniel Sun masters the way of violent percussionist and plays the human symbols on their face. For Miyagi! Finally, Daniel Sun enters the diminishing sunset of the Okinawan Summer Festival. But even though this is a festival, this is no festival. Oh God, they have spears. Rocks emanate from nothingness and fly to his face. Instead of wondering why Chosen and the land of Okinawa is so angry with him, Daniel Sun gets to kick him. Daniel Sun, now dressed in menacing red, seeks to defeat his enemies using the Miyagi techniques of strike first and strike deadly. Or run like hell. Bodies litter the canyon side until Daniel Sun finally comes face to face with Chosen. Upon two demon dogs, along with the kidnapped Kumiko, surrounded by deadly water on both sides, Daniel Sun reflects on Miyagi's teachings. Murder your enemy by any means necessary. Daniel Sun mercilessly kicks Chosen into the depths of the- You cannot kill me! Chosen flies back, dripping of vengeance and canyon water. The fight is too much for Kumiko. She would rather face death 
than rescue, looking to commit suicide rather than watching this blood fest. Danielson, having won a previous blood fest, looks to become victorious in this blood fest. Danielson wins the blood fest, but the disembodied head of Miyagi suddenly appears through nothingness. He explains that this has been a simulation. Miyagi reveals that you were Danielson and that now you are a karate master. You guided Danielson through the challenges, causing him to murder hundreds, nay thousands, of Okinawan guardians. With a sly wink, it has become clear that Danielson was merely a vessel for Miyagi's vengeance upon the peaceful land of Okinawa. Were the Okinawans defending their land from Danielson? Was Kumiko not looking for rescue, but instead retreating from Danielson's capture? was chosen the Okinawans' last hope. Do cranes really kick? We may truly never know, but it is certain that Miyagi and Danielson shall now rule the world using pedestrian karate. Kick. Okay, who's ready to watch me swing? Shut up. Next episode, Daddy Issues. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Ah, oh, character.